The day is Four Swipe, and I'm gonna be playing solo. Last time I played solo Four Swipe was about two years ago, so it's about time I try it again. I hope you all enjoy. Now let's get into it. Okay, let's do this. So today is Four Swipe, and I am gonna be playing solo. Also, the server that I'm gonna be playing on today is Blue Lagoon. So, as some of you may know, then Blue Lagoon servers have no tech tree when it comes to force swipe. With that being said, the only way for me to get BPs is through crates. So, this is pretty much how it was before a lot of updates. So, as I'm gonna be playing solo, I've chosen a very nice build spot. So, for this swipe, I am gonna be building somewhere right side of airfield. And the reason behind that is airfield gives a lot of melee crates. And with a full pot, the crates are gonna be spawning literally 24-7 almost. So uh, yeah, I am gonna be building somewhere next to airfield. And uh, hopefully this wipe is gonna be absolutely insane. So yeah, hopefully this solo wipe is gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. I think I'm just gonna try and take my horse and then literally just get to the build spot. I also have absolutely no clue what to build as a base. But I have a bit of an idea like of something that I want to do. But uh, I am not too sure. I, I think I might just go with like a 2x1. Did you see a guy here? Oh my god. Get sniped. This is like way too close. Maybe I put it down like somewhere down here. Do something like this, I think. Okay, base is down. Let's place a TC. I do also want to get a crossbow like very quick if that's possible. So I might try and get some rope on the way back. That's one rope. Okay, I got the rope that I need for a crossbow as well. Man, the water looks so nice. Like, it's so clear now. Okay, I gotta go get some... Ooh, I got wood. Maybe a nail gun as well if I can make one. Yeah, that's a lot more metal. This guy there. Oh shit. Oh no. Why did I get stuck there? I actually like got stuck on this stairs there for some reason. Whoa. How many people are in there? God damn. I thought it was just one. I was only about 10 minutes into wipe and I fought with a tier 1 workbench down. I was the one with a bit of advantage. 
I quickly found out that I wasn't the only one thinking that airfield would be the monument to use for the wipe. I didn't want to spawn back in the base, at least not yet. Instead, I wanted to try and get a bow, get some loot from killing people getting down their bases and then make my way back to mine. This way I wouldn't have to only rely on airfield. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, you have a bowl coming out of your head, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. I need this so bad though. Thing is, I gotta get back to base. I'm pretty sure that's a recycler on the server at fishing. That's a four man running over there. I'm gonna save some of the rope for crossbows. Okay, I don't see any bases here yet next to mine, which is pretty nice. I am not looking for any neighbors right now. Oh, wait. Nah, no way I downed him. Okay, that's not too- Oh, ice pick, that's actually huge. Living in this area too, there's like notes everywhere. Getting an ice pick is so big this early. Like I, I don't even, I don't even have pickaxe BP, no BP. So ice pick is very nice to have. Yeah, okay, I gotta go for that body fast. I think that's the foreman that I saw running at fishing, or like towards fishing. I'm pretty sure they live in there. Oh my god, and he was running towards that base there. Fucker you are. Oh shit. Dude. I gotta go. I do not know how I'm gonna expand my base, so I'm just gonna try whatever. Okay, this looks pretty good. There's a lot more space here now as well for boxes. Do you think I wanna go recycle? So airfield is a lot closer to fishing. But it's not very safe for me right now to actually recycle at airfield. Because there is most likely going to be four mines running around in there. Two hundred and twenty-six scrap, that's insane. With this very needed recycle run, I made my base a bit more secured. And I also made some large boxes for a bit more loot space. After that, I headed back out. Oh my god! Let's go! Holy shit! That guy did not stand a chance! I'll take a crossbow. Oh, this zip line is so good. It feels like everyone takes it because it, it goes out to like nowhere. And then at the same time, there's like a fishing village here that it kind of goes towards. So most people just farm components, go fishing, and recycle. And they like, they use this zip line that I literally live under. Uh. Oh, let's go. It's got a pump, dude. He did the quest. Oh, my God. I'm just going to run this home. I don't think any of those guys like have anything crazy. They were both naked. That's so good though. I, 700 cloth, 240 scrap, 700 metal and a pump.
After doing some very needed expanding, I was looking to take a step up, meaning I wanted to try and get my first gun. I knew airfield would be contested and the guys contesting it already had revos. So instead of searching for a gun in a crate, I decided to try and kill for it. So I made my way over to airfield. Oh, that is not too bad. No! Ah, oh, nah, there's so many of them. I saw another one at, at a tower over there. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah, these guys all have revos now. Like, they're running around in the whole entire area. No way. This is huge. Oh my god, no way. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. That shit hurts. Ooh, I'm hoping they're not actually down here. Holy shit. Oh, I don't understand, dude. I don't understand how they can, like, always be there. It seemed that, like, no matter what I did in airfield, I always ended up getting jumped. The main reason why I wanted airfield so bad is because of the many crates you get out of using a green and a blue keycard. But when I got both the keycards I lost them shortly after. But luckily abandoned cabins always had my back. So with another green card I made my way back towards harbor. But this run was a bit more interesting. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna go to the other harbor. Dude, what? Oh, no way. What? Okay, that is very good. I don't know why this guy wanted to fight me that bad. I guess he thought I had a lot of stuff on me. I have so much cloth as well. Over 2k. Maybe it's time for me to actually like get some BPs. Just because I need him. Oh wait, I actually got a bean can. How the fuck did I get that? I do not remember getting that, but I need it so bad, so I take it. Okay, that's a lot of BPs. I had claimed a ton of well-needed BPs, including a double barrel shotgun. I had a feeling this shotgun would be very helpful when it comes to getting myself a gun. So after crafting one up, it was time to try my luck back at airfield. This is not what I need, man. Fuck are you, mate. It's not enough to research it. My first gun. Please let me get back. 
Oof. I was kind of hoping he had enough to uh, research it so I could just instantly take it in, but I made it home, so it's not a problem. Let's go. Okay, now I can finally make some of those and hopefully actually kill these guys at airfield. Yes! First gun of the wipe. I'm like kinda stacked compared to this being my first gun. I'm not doing bad at all. As you could tell, this Revo meant a lot to me. This may not be a tier 2 gun, but getting a Revo this early into Force Wipe as a solo would make outnumbered fights 10 times easier for me. I still needed a blue keycard to run airfield, so I decided to once again make my way towards harbor. Okay, they're recycling right now, I think. Guy there coming in. On 40 low grade. I don't know what to do here, man. The only thing I really can do is just dip. I got no cloth, and I am pretty sure, 90% sure, I saw someone actually open the uh, the room. Another bean can. Wow, okay. Oh, no way. Okay, that was nothing crazy, but 120 uh, crude. Go Python. Ooh, I'm gonna go for that. There's a lot. Oh no! I just took my eyes away from my monitor like a second. He peeked. So dead. Uh, dude, it's like they live inside of airfield. This guy just looted my shit and he's just in there already. Okay, well, I didn't go deep, but I have medical syringe, which is very nice. I got Rebo, so... Roaming with uh, meds would be absolutely insane. Ain't no way there's a new base down there now. Nah, dude, I gotta check that out. Wait. Dude, I have a satchel in the base, I think. That's probably not enough, but I just wanna go there before I place it on. Oh. Oh. Okay. CC is actually not too bad. Time to go. It's actually not too bad. Oh, I'm so fucking done, dude. I'm, I'm actually so done with these guys camping everywhere. Actually, fuck that. Okay, Python is fighting Revo. He 
Please tell me his mate is not up here. Ooh. Do something crazy. Oh, my God, what? Dude, F4 man! You gotta be kidding! All that to just die by four guys with guns. Oh. I finally managed to make a play to a greater gun. I did everything I could to fight them off. And when the time came, I made my escape. In my opinion, I couldn't have played this any different. After this, I made my way back out. And once again, I got insanely close to making a play that would have given me a tier 2 gun. I wasn't gonna give up this easily. So I made my way back out once again. And this time, something good finally happened. Oh, it's that body there. No way, dude. Ooh, he's not hitting. Oh. I gotta go. No way I get a Tommy. Dude, I was not expecting a Tommy already, not gonna lie. That is huge. Oh man. Let's go. I made like so many plays to guns. But like the second I was ready to just dip back to base, I got jumped by like another team. So I'm very happy getting a uh, Tommy VP. Let's go. Okay, this time. I am hoping to actually get the red card and get out of there as well. First assessment. So many crates in here. Okay, not too bad. He's missing. Dude. Oh. I'm so dead here. Oh my god, I've never seen three guys play so safe.
Ooh, we got a compombo. Oh my god. Ooh, a branch. It's actually very nice. I'm just gonna try and go fishing. There's actually like so many people around here right now. There's so many boats here. <gasps> Wait, what? Uh, well, someone forgot to loot the front of their boat. Actually, not too bad. No SMG bodies though, but very good. No! Okay, wait, didn't they just make it? Ain't no way this is- oh shit, okay. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. Ooh. Sauce in there. No! Oh, dude, there's so many. I thought it was free. Fuck, I gotta go back. I don't care what anyone is saying, I am out. Ain't no way you just made that play. Go crazy! Go crazy! Dude, after all this time, I feel like I deserve to make that play. Oh my god, I just got bowed there. Let's go! We got Saar. I'm just instantly gonna take that BP and then I think I'm gonna head back because I did not get any other guns. Let's go! Finally, we got Saar BP. Okay, I know these guys live somewhere up to the right. I do not have custom BP, so... And I do want to depot my cards as well. That guy's dead. Oh my god! Okay, I got destroyed. What if I flank? Like, these guys live right here, that's the thing. I can't even really flank. In a way, all this guy had was a bow. Wait, what?
Okay, so the Tommy guy in the tower killed this guy. P2 and footage P Thompson. Making the play in the airfield was the absolute greatest feeling. Not only did it give me a sap, but the guys that I took it from had killed me multiple times. I had finally gotten my revenge, and there was surely more to come. I decided to make my way back to airfield after the fight, but this wasn't a fight I could win. I was just a solo, and all I had to do was drain my mids and push me at the right time. I didn't think of this as a big deal though, as I had already made profit in guns from my previous fights. Earlier, I managed to do a successful keycard run to airfield giving me every keycard needed to run oil rig. So to also get a bit away from my own area, I decided to make my way there. Okay, let's see if this guy is gonna take the boat. No way. I need to get diving gear. Oh my god, I'm so lucky he was in the driver's seat. Oh. Oh yes, he did recycle. I did do the quest. I'm so lucky he jumped in the driver's seat and not the passenger seat. I'm not sure why he would jump in the driver's seat though. Okay, there should be enough stone I think to finish up the whole entire base. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Did this guy use the oil refinery and end up getting 1500 low grade? Nah, dude, that guy's probably gonna come back. I wouldn't be surprised. I can see a crate in the tower, so I don't think he actually went in there. Uh, man, what is going on right now? What is going on right now with these guys running around full inventories? My base was officially done and it was still day one of wipe. I had done quite a lot of expanding, but I still didn't have a garage store, so I decided to make my way towards airfield with the keycards in hopes of finding one. I had no luck with that, so I had to think of something else. I first made my way towards sewer, but with no luck of finding a garage store. Then towards water treatment, but once again, I didn't find one. Don't get me wrong, the loot I managed to get out of this was great, but at the time it wasn't what I needed the most. It was getting very late and I wasn't looking to run around to more monuments. So I decided to look around on the map for a shop setting a garage store. I quickly found one and was now able to secure my base a lot more in case of an offline raid attempt. My day one had been absolutely amazing. Like I mentioned in the start of the video then this was a no tech tree wipe. So making all these plays and becoming this loaded just from day one was incredible in my opinion. I locked off day one hoping not to be raided the next day. I was luckily not raided. On wipe day, I mainly focused farming stone and metal to expand the base. So first thing I did in the morning was go out for a farm run.
ghost or well there it is. Even this room is open, okay. Please give me something good. Oh, explosive ammo. That's pretty big. I don't have that. Oh my god, that's actually good. Please be good. Wait, what? Nah, dude. Ain't no way this server just went down. This might be the unluckiest thing and the luckiest thing that could have happened. Please. Dude, what the fuck? No. Oh my god. I don't even care about that guy. Nah, dude. There's absolutely no way that I just did that. Oh my god, that restart saved my life. And I got a bolt forwards out of it, plus like a line of guns. The fact that I somehow won that just because of the server restarting was insanely unexpected. I expected to look back into death. Not only because of the scientists, but also the crazy amount of counters that made it on. Getting back to base, I did have much time to depot before something unexpected happened once again. Oh my god. Nah. Dude, there's a truck boat right there. Like, I know that these guys are gonna come. I saw a hazmat on it. Oh, oh my god. That was so risky. No way, this guy just called me a pussy. Two jackhammers. These guys live in the talk board, I'm pretty sure. Man, if I can like stop these guys from doing anything, I bet I could actually rate this.
Oh my god. Why am I getting camped by these guys? Holy shit. I just got so much. Oh my god. I can actually do this. No way! Oh my god, dude. These guys are gonna be so stacked. The second I blew off the first and only door, I knew this was gonna be absolutely loaded. I went back multiple times, but with no luck of getting back in, as they ended up taking the boat to fishing village, leaving me with no possible way of getting in. Getting back to base, I decided that it was about time to do a bit of roaming, so in hopes of getting some more guns, I made my way towards snow. Okay, <sighs> well I just ran into a fall man. Hey, wait, what? Why is there a scrap pity right outside of my base? Oh my god, why is there so many of them? No, why can I not place the wall on like the good side man? Ain't no way like a six man just moved into my area and I just killed like five of them and there's just more Oh my god No way! Oh my god, there's so many of them. Ah! What? No way! Oh. 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 You're kidding. Oh my god. Solo player, bro. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Wow.
I had gotten myself some new neighbors. I didn't exactly know what to think about this. They were 60, but getting in a fight against them, I clearly had the upper hand. But at the end, they always ended up winning because of respawns. If I wanted to win a fight against these guys, I had to play it smart and away from their base. Luckily, shortly after making it back to base, I heard some shots coming from airfield. the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, it is going down. Dude, what? Twice in a line. Oh my god. Yeah, that just happened. I don't know why I do that. I actually don't know. Oh my god, there's another one in airfield. The amount of loot on these bodies, oh my god. Fuck me. There's no way this is the six man, like they're just camping me so hard right now. I hope I took all these guys guns. Wait, what? I did not see this body here before, did I? Oh, he was up here. No way, I hit him once. Idiot. No! Oh, it was worth checking because I killed like two other guys there. A case? An S4? Wait, what?
Whoever is outside my base shooting Sa and P2 do not want to join any fights. All they want to do is just be annoying. I have had my fun roaming around with tier 2 guns. So when I heard an AK, I hit it there instantly. I made my way back a few times, but their base was right next to where the fight was at. So with them having non-stop respawns, there wasn't much I could do. I also wasn't looking to lose all my guns and trying to fight my way to an AK on ground. So I decided to buy a rip to look for tugboats that I could possibly raid. Please, please, I have no gun, please. I guess I go down for this gun. Dude. This turret placement is great. Oh. There's so much loot in there. Nah, dude, this is gonna be stacked. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Because how do I clear? Oh my god, dude, this is huge. This is actually so big. Oh, okay, I own the boat now, but it's like, it's still one door to main dude. This is so stacked, actually, th what? No way. Nah, dude, nah. Oh my god, I didn't see this.
god. No way! I'm actually so, so confused. Oh my god, let's go. Okay, I got a gear set there. I might as well just make some AK sets. The amount of stuff that I managed to do second day of wipe was insane. I got myself some new neighbors, but after a ton of back-to-back -back fighting, I ended up on top. It was getting very late, so I was planning on heading out for the night. But just before doing that, I decided to head out for a bit of a farm run. I was doing great, but I still had some unfinished business. So logging on day 3, I had one goal for the day, and that was to raid my neighbors. They had been nothing but a pain in the ass the whole entire day too. But for me to raid them, I still needed a rocket. So in hopes of getting that, I made my way towards oil rig. How did he almost tell me that? Like, what? Oh my god. Ooh. Did I have AK in there? Dude, what the fuck am I watching? What? I double headshot him and he didn't die. Nah, dude, if I, if I had enough to rate this shit. No! Oh my god, he actually made that mistake. in that launcher too actually i should have like dropped it in the water all i needed was a rocket i had no luck getting back with the one i found in the launcher so i decided to ask in chat if anyone could sell me a rocket we talked about the price and not long after i had rocket bp it was now time to truly get my revenge so i crafted up some rockets and explosive ammo and made my way over to my neighbors Ooh. in a way it's off right it is. I think this door, because another main loot is on bottom floor. That's the 
jumped down already. Okay, and then there should be a shotgun trap under me. Three launchers? That's insane. Oh my god, components. Diving gear. All their bags and dove into TC. 3k GP, not too much. Got a low grip. <laughs> Two pedos. Man, these guys are so deep. Getting revenge on my neighbors was not only the end for their wife, but also mine. At this point, I'd accomplished almost everything there is to do. Being solo on force wipe is not usually something I would do, but I wanted to try and get the whole solo experience. And to be honest, I think I did pretty good. Solo is not something that I played that much after recoil update, but I'm starting to enjoy it a lot again. So if you guys do enjoy these solo videos, then let me know in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this solo movie, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.